snitches in here, bro. Okay, no rap in my cap. I sniffed my old homie's mom's panties in sixth grade. Lol, I was a dog in the trenches. You deserve to have that name corrupt, bro. You're corrupt in the fucking head. You see, and I know you serious, too. Confession, my dad was in rehab center and came to visit one day at it was like 2 p.m. So I walked into my mom's room thinking everything smooth just to see this clapping my mom's cheeks. Never been the same since. Right, so my confession is my mom took me to the grocery store with her to get some shrimp and I stayed in the car. And I got so horny I beat my dick in the car in the parking lot and when she got back she asked what that smell was and I said it was the shrimp you just got. So when we got back home she- I this ain't a confession but my ex that I broke up with just posted that she got at job Lil Caesars today. Did I just drop a f***ing bag? <laughs> Bro, she works at Lil Caesars. I think you're good, bro. Confession. In fourth grade, I was afraid to go to the bathroom because niggas kept saying Bloody Mary will kill me, so I tried to hold it in, but I just let my piss flow on the chair, hoping nobody noticed. But this fat touched my leg and said, You, he's wet. <laughs> okay, these are actually funny. Dad I have a confession I had erectile dysfunction and when I saw your giant ass nose I was hard as a hard instantly and fat that night. Nice one, bro. Ruin my lab, bro. Confession, I relapsed the day after two weeks. Damn. The stream seriously helps though. We off that from now on. Man fuck that man, we on that shit for real. No I'm just playing, yeah we off that shit. We off that shit for real. We off of Confession when I was seven I was on my stepdad's phone and saw pictures of my mom spread eagle butt naked. I never smiled again. I guarantee if y'all grab y'all no grandmama niche. iPad, tablet, no and go through like the internet section, you're gonna see some crazy shit. Second confession. Mm -hmm. I was on FaceTime with my crush like eight months ago and I started jacking off on the phone. When I nutted I made a face and she asked why I made that face and I told her I had to sneeze. Yeegas. Hey, I got a question. When y'all on FaceTime, is y'all face Confession. always on the camera? I accidentally saw my stepdad and my mom f when I was five. Let's just say nine months later my brother was born. I don't get FaceTime. <laughs> I don't have a confession I you wanted to tell that last nigga to eat dick. <laughs> Let me see, do I got another confession? I mean, this not really a confession though, this is something everybody done did. Probably, I don't know, probably. Bro, it's okay, it's like you musty in the morning, right? And you, I was just putting hand sanitizer under my arms and wiping it like, I did it like 30 times. Whoever said that last donation sincerely shut the f*** up. Please. That was in elementary school though after like recess. Like that's not that bad. Everybody done did that, bro. <laughs> There's some fing fiends in this chat. Talking about some jerking off to women over the phone, y'all are horny as fuck. I hope my daughter is a lesbian. Crazy <laughs> ass niggas man. That's not bad. One time my little brother was on my granddad iPad and he pressed the home button twice and Safari and Chrome came up with hella porn on it. My grandma confronted him and this old bitch blamed me. <laughs> Donation. Confession, one time in third grade I went to the bathroom and these two little niggas walked in and dropped their pants all the way ass out I was like f*** this and hurried and started washing my hands when of them told the other he had a nice ass and smacked it. <laughs> bro that ain't real, that ain't real but it's funny. If that's bro, I don't, the thing about it, you can tell bro, I don't even know what's, what is... Which one is real and which one is fake? I've done some crazy shit, but hearing this donos makes me feel a lot more normal. Oh, you shit. niggas need help. Y'all niggas is 
So I don't know if this goes for everyone I promise you I'm not gay but has anyone else watched gay porn just to make sure you not gay? Yeah! So I was like third grade forgot to clear my history I almost got my ass beat but blamed it on my cousin for clicking the ads. Everybody, everybody done did that, that's just normal shit. That nigga beyond capping. That's normal shit, bro. Everybody has done that. I don't care who you, I don't care how tough you is, everybody done, everybody done do it. Nigga said I still do it. First Confession, I was in class and didn't do the homework. I asked the smart retarded nigga so he was gonna raise his hand to tell the teacher and I slapped <laughs> the fucking <laughs> shit out that nigga till he cried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one was kind of funny. Confession. I went funny. to the bathroom in fifth grade and a bunch of special kids opened the stall and started laughing at me. It's not true. It's not true. Donations. I can really, like, do a try not to laugh to these shits and win, bro. One time before a football game, I took a shit. The coach rushed me hella so I couldn't wipe all the way. The whole game, my ass was itching on Greg. I couldn't even run right. That is disgusting. That is nasty as fuck. Any gay porn watchers in chat right now? Just me, I guess. <laughs> hey, bro, you like what you you like what you like, bro. I don't care. Second confession. As a little nigga, I got my phone took. My mom hid it in her dresser. So whenever she left the crib I went to go look for it and bro. I see a half empty packet of Viagra. My parents 50 and they was still fucking. I'm finna go throw. That's crazy! When I was little I used to join sex, porn groups on Facebook not knowing my family could see what groups I'm in. <laughs> my grandma doesn't let me come over anymore. <laughs> Confession one time in the second grade this girl liked me and on Valentine's Day this girl put her hair in my snack pack pudding and I when I ate that shit I had a piece of hair in my mouth and when I looked up all I see is her smiling at me. Confession, in second grade my teacher asked me where clean water comes from. My ass said the sewers and everyone laughed at me then my teacher said, don't laugh in his country they drink dirty water from there. I'm Somalian Canadian. <laughs> what the f That is so f up. What the fuck? So in middle school I befriended a special ed I saw him every day in the bathroom and made growling noises as our way to communicate. In 10th grade I saw him again he had no idea who I was and he was able to speak English and not growl I looked retarded. So in words you were the special ed, the special ed nigga. Okay. Bruce, you remember that one time you was with your friends and you all decided to go into the bathroom and see who could nut the fa- I had this private story that females paid to be in where I posted nut vids and I went to post a vid and posted that shit on my wrong private story and then gay nigga saw it and replied good morning Mr. Schlongs I deleted that story so fast I felt gay on Jesus. Why are y'all in sex groups? Confession, some fat nigga knocked me out in fifth grade because <laughs> I was talking shit during a kickball game. He slumped my ass for a good two minutes. I woke up with a big ass knot on my head. <laughs> Bro, how you guys watch gay porn to find out if you gay, that's just gay. No, because... Asphic. No, if it if if you get aroused from it, then that usually means you turned on by that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it's like a, it's like you just making sure it's not gay. Y'all niggas really came to Pastor Bruce and started confessing your gay chronicle stories. <laughs> what the fuck wrong with y'all? Get a bottle of lotion and beat it out of your dicks before I go tell your mummies. <laughs> Sus ass niggas. 
When I was in 8th grade there was a kid that I hanged out with nigga dead ass bought me everything I wanted turned out bro was gay. <laughs> that nigga had an 8th grade sugar daddy. <laughs> Donations. Donations. <laughs> bro, hell no. Nah. That's funny. In 4th grade I was low-key a plate cleaner and for Halloween I wanted to be Spider-Man. The suit was so fucking tight but I insisted on wearing it as soon as we started walking the shit tripped in like three places I still wore it the whole time. <laughs> My favorite costume I had as a kid was John Cena in Rey Mysterio. And I went as Batman. Those are the ones in 6th grade the popular nigga took my D's and started running away I couldn't catch him and I was crying the host was <laughs> laughing at me too. <laughs> Confession I was playing one of those sex games on new grounds and my mom walked in. I tried to close it out but the window fucking froze and I started crying. Confession in my freshman year of high school there was this problems. girl who was pantsing people in gym class and she pantsed me and my ass came out I went in the bathroom and cried no cap. <laughs> I've never been pantsed. I've never been pantsed ever in my life. Okay confession I haven't really told this but I was fucking this girl once and got horny and tried to give her the thumb ass treatment I remember feeling shit on my hands and when my fingers went to my face I almost fainted. <laughs> I ended up wiping the shit on her Kate Spade blanket and asked What? Donation. That's crazy. I watched gay porn before but I actually got an erection from it but I'm not attracted to men is that gay? Am I gay? <laughs> that nigga panicking y'all look at him he's panicking. <laughs> I was in the ninth grade and after school when I got home I started beating my meat. I was very tired so when I was finished I went sleep. When my mom got home she opened my door my pants were dot down dick out come all over myself almost got kicked out on god. <laughs> Donations. Donations. Yo what the fuck. Anyways what's your all fight record I'm almost 30 I need one more dub to buy a gun but Bruce skipped a step he lost he's 21 he needs to win 3 fights to gain my respect but I was about to fight some boy last year for talking crazy called him a bitch tough face. Bro, you just one of those things that fight for no fucking reason, bro. Part 2. I injured him right before the senior game, so since he wasn't playing, I took his spot as the staring point guard. Do I regret it? No. Did I get jumped for it? Maybe. <laughs> Hell nah. I'm 2 and 1. I'm 2 and 1. So I hate to be tickled and one time I was laying up with this girl and she didn't know and she tickled me trying to play around and as a reflex I punched her on god I didn't know what to do after that so I just walked the fuck out the room. <laughs> Confession I got top from a bitch. Nigga her breath stank so fucking bad it killed my erection. Nigga it felt like my meat was covered in stinky toxic mucus. Long story short this bitch told her friends my dick was broke. <laughs> in first grade I had this girl best friend and she used to come to my house every week to play and one day we was in my room alone and I pulled down my pants and she tried to suck my wee wee but she bit my shit and now me and her don't talk no more. God, you niggas are fucking hilarious, bro. Fuck! I was in class and this nigga dropped his gun and my stupid ass almost picked it up for the nigga. Last time I saw his ass. <laughs> A girl my freshman year of HS got caught sucking dick on the stairs both her and the boy were expelled. Some guy shake, bro. Some guy shake. That's three second place. <laughs> About three years ago, I went to visit my girl at her blind funny, grandma's bro. house. Long story short, I fingered the fuck out my girl shit right in front of her blind ass grandma. Damn, nigga. One zero. One for you, zero for chat. 
They get no hoes. Okay so after telling you guys my parking lot shrimp story my jerk off on the phone story and my pool floaty story. I realized I need help. I might actually turn myself into the police. <laughs> you know that's the first step. Admitting is the first step. At my high school you can't wear green socks because a nigger gave another nigger head in the stall for a ham sandwich and he had on green socks. His name was DJ Clutch Handles. <laughs> nah, this thing is lying. <laughs> what? I was riding my bike around and dead ass this kid jumped me when I got off held me at knife point then called the cops on me. The cops showed up cause I was walking around with no bike and drove me home for me to prove that it was my bike. Then I got beat. I would have snitched. Donations. Dead ass serious. Donations. I would have snitched. Donations. In 8th grade I was with the school thought about to get my meat sucked until she said what is that smell OHH my god my heart dropped ever since then her and her friends called me shitty booty teases before I wipe my ass in the shower or use baby wipes. <laughs> He said, Ugh, what's that smell? <laughs> One time I was getting a hand job from my ex, and when I tell you I moaned like a bitch, my weak ass. <laughs> hey, hell no, nah. that's the funniest shit ever, boy. That shit is funny. Ugh, what, <laughs> what that smell? <laughs> Nigga, did you do it to <laughs> My senior year I was going to lunch and saw a line outside the bathroom I thought niggas was just shitty but long story short a freshman was getting a train ran on her in the bathroom and it all started cause she had a nigga fuck her for a fucking sonic slushy. Hey, hey. <laughs> imagine you finna get here right <laughs> and the girl say ugh. <laughs> I liked this girl and I wanted to ask her out and then this buck tooth nigga outed me in class and turns out my friend liked her so long story short my boy got a girlfriend for five years proud of him too. Hey, hey shawty say, shawty say ugh, nigga did you just boo boo yourself? <laughs> did anybody used to nut in water bottles for storage? Just me? Hey, I'm fucking crying! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, I can't fucking breathe. Oh. <laughs> Long story short, I hope you clown ass niggas make a gay throat baby together. Why don't you all just go around circle jerking each other talking about some I beat my meat to some fruity pebble ass videos and some strange pee pee came out half your niggas registered sec. <laughs> That nigga is sick. Y'all got that nigga mad, man. Come on, bruh. Right, so I got so horny and wanted to simulate sex. So I got a wonderful idea and blew up an arm floaty and fucked it. I put it back in the pool box and my little cousin ended up using to get in the pool. I felt so bad. Donations. Donations. Ew! Bro, no. Y'all niggas going on YouTube. I don't give a fuck. Y'all niggas say hey to YouTube. I don't care. I'm sorry. I know I said I was gonna tell nobody, but I'm telling everybody now. This nigga fucked a floaty. Who the fuck thought about Donations. fucking a pool floaty, bruh? Donations. 